Hello, welcome back everybody to Manny Reads Comics. Um, next on my pull list today was Batman 109. The cover is right here. This is one of those few, I feel like um, comic books in general are going back to that make the cover actually relate to the the story is, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Because, you know, for the last couple of years, it's just been, here's a, co a cover, it looks pretty cool, or it doesn't, but it has nothing to do with the story. And sometimes that's fine. Uh, I personally like it to, to relate to the story. And this one here does exactly that. You see Batman holding Simon Saint up in the air. Um, we find out in the book that he's interrogating him. And behind him is uh, Sean Mahoney, I believe that's his name. And that's Peacekeeper01. Uh, who's actually pretty formidable. And uh, I guess if I had read Future State, I would know that, but I do not, and I did not. So there's that. But before I go on, let me just remind you, you can find this content in YouTube and in Spotify, Google, and Anchor. Uh, so go check that out. Appreciate it. And uh, if you want more comic content, you can also check out at Many Reads Comics and uh, in Instagram. And yeah. But moving on to the story, it begins with just like the other, the last like three, um, Batman is is captured. Batman is is under Scarecrow's toxin. We don't know how, but he's slowly trying to uh, escape. And in this issue, he finally kind of, uh, I think he, it looks like he was in a wheelchair, maybe not, but he he falls off his chair. And uh, is able to to get up, and he's starting to run away. But Scarecrow is running after him. But it just all looks basically like it's it's a fear dream. It doesn't even look like it's he's actually escaping at all. Um, but then it goes the next page. It goes back to the past where Bruce is back home, and uh, he's thinking about what Miracle Molly told him about um, letting go of his past, and if that would make him stronger. Me personally, I feel like his past is his strength, unfortunately for him. But he's thinking, because she said, would it make you strong enough to save Gotham for real? And uh, I think it's, it's actually getting to him. He doesn't see the Unsanity Collective as a, as a villain that he needs to take down. He doesn't see them as a threat after what he, what he saw in the last issue. Um, but... When he, while he's thinking about that, Oracle calls him and just kind of, or he lets Oracle know that he's back online and she informs him that there's been more Scarecrow sightings. Uh, and not Scarecrow as the villain, but like Scarecrows uh, being placed all around the city uh, in in like churches, the city hall, police precincts, things like that. And basically it's just uh, Scarecrow creating fear without the toxin, which is what he wanted to do with uh, wanted, what he wanted to prove and it's working people are going crazy people fear are fearing that there's going to be another attack they are looting grocery stores they're just trying to get supplies to to survive this attack and um batman tells oracle to to call Ghostmaker, which is easier said than done because apparently Ghostmaker doesn't like to answer to oracle's calls but he says make it happen so she's she's going to do what she can um with one thing that I saw here was that while Oracle is talking to Batman, she's eating. And uh, it's a very small detail, but I like it. Um, and I hate it. <laughs> it's, uh, she's got like ketchup all over her mouth, like around her lips. You know, she's a messy eater. Uh, it's just a small artistic detail. You don't really think too much. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think to see that in, in a comic book uh, uh, art and uh but the only reason I don't like it is because I don't like to think of Oracle being a messy eater. <laughs> but, uh, it, I mean, apparently she is. But we move on to Ghostmaker and Harley hanging out on top of some building. And Harley's just like, you hero types love to hang out up here. She's like, I'm not afraid of the of heights. Uh, she actually uses the, the technical term, which I can't think of at the moment. But she's like, I'm not afraid of heights. But I can't help but to think, uh, what, what would happen if I fell? Uh, from from this distance you know it wouldn't be pretty so ghostmaker says well what do you think about this and he basically reveals his bat cave 
to, to her and he says, this is my haunt. I call it my haunt. And uh, it's made to be better than ba- than Batman's Batcave in its prime. O- obviously, currently, Batman is not a billionaire anymore. He's just a millionaire. And so his Batcave is uh, at where he's currently living. And uh, it's not it's not as nice as his, his last one. So in this one, he's got a bigger dinosaur in there. He he's about to throw away his car because it wasn't as good as the the current uh, Batmobile. And I don't know. I just feel like Ghostmaker is too obsessive with beating Batman in every single aspect. Like I understand you want to beat him in combat, makes sense. You want to beat him in detective skills, that makes sense. But oh, my house is bigger than yours. My my toys are better than yours. Come on, man. Like, get over it. <laughs> that's, that's just the way I see it. Um, but he tells Harley to get comfortable. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna change into something nicer. He gets her some champagne. And uh, Harley pretty much is like, are you trying to, uh, to seduce me or are you trying to kill me? What are you, what are you trying to do here? I'm, I'm confused. And he, he's just trying to get to know her. And in this scene, it's just both of them kind of talking about who they were. They're getting to know each other. Uh, he says, I don't know if I want to kill you or seduce you yet. Uh, you know, maybe after this, I'll, fig- I'll figure it out. Um, and at this moment, at one point, they start talking about Ivy. And uh, the gardener shows up. She's a new character. We saw her once in 106, 107, I believe. Um, and but now we she's revealed she uh her name is Bella Garten, um she call, goes by the gardener and she's Pamela Ivy's uh, college girlfriend, so cool. Uh, did not expect that honestly. I thought it was gonna be a uh, an experiment by Ivy. I thought it was gonna be like she got her own consciousness or something and she became her own person. But I was overthinking it. I guess, but it is what it is. She does inform Harley that Ivy is alive and she's been under Gotham and kind of merging herself to the foundation of Gotham as a, as a way of uh, protecting herself. If she goes down, if anything happens to her, all of Gotham goes down, but she's missing something um, and something's wrong with her. And uh, Bella wants Harley to help her. And when she does, when she's ready to help her, to come without the bat, to come without Ghostmaker, it's just her help. So that's a little um, bit of a, I feel like, not foreshadowing because it's very obvious, but um, just to look into what's coming next after we we get past the Peacemaker and and Scarecrow storyline. And that ends there. Then we go into Simon Saint in, in a meeting with someone from the mayor's office, which gets interrupted by Batman who immediately starts interrogating Simon, where's Scarecrow? Simon claims he, he's not working with Scarecrow. He came to Gotham to save Gotham. He would never do that, you know, and obviously we know we know different. Um, his overconfident bodyguard steps in and says, excuse me, Mr. Saint, I got this. I'll take care of the bat. And immediately just <laughs> one punch, well, not one punch. He got one kicked into the wall and he's out cold and, uh, Simon's actually surprised at the power that that Batman's gauntlets have, but uh, but he's not shook or anything like that. He continues talking, saying, um, "You don't know what Scarecrow is, po- um, is capable of. Uh, he could possibly even blow up the uh, city hall." And at that moment, city hall blows up, and so Batman puts two and two together. He knows that Saint did that. Um, he's he's letting him know that. He's got this peacekeeper program, the magistrate program, and that he's after he's done with the villains in Gotham, that they're going to come after the vigilantes. Uh, and then Batman turns around. There's Peacekeeper Zero One and easily picks up Batman and throws him against the wall. And uh, I think Batman immediately is just like, yeah, OK, this guy is, is an actual threat. So he starts uh, making a plan. He he makes a hole in the ground, goes under. Peacemaker follows. Uh, Batman turns off all the lights, and then Peacemaker's like, you know I can still see you. And this is a, a pretty intimidating moment for Batman. As usual, Batman's got the best intimidations. Uh, he's like, good, because I can see you too. And just the way Jorge Jimenez drew him, like he's got the mad eyes and everything. You turn the page, 
and it's just a full page of Batman versus Peacekeeper 01, and that's how it ends. You know, it's a little cliffhanger. Can't wait to see this fight. Um, but it was good. It was a good ending. Kind of got the heart pumping a little bit. Uh, I gave this issue a 7 out of 10 solely because of the beginning of this. In the last couple of issues, it's always just been Batman's been captured by Scarecrow, and it's I'm getting tired of it. I'm getting bored of it. I need Batman to escape or Scarecrow to do whatever he's planning to do with Batman. Um, a question I have is, does Scarecrow know who Batman is before or now? Because like, he has captured him. I don't understand why he wouldn't take off his cow, but I, it's not it's not evident if if Scarecrow knows who he is. Um, that's my only negatives, though, because the positives we got to meet new characters. As uh, we got meet, we got to meet Bella Garten. We got to know a little bit more of Ghostmaker, and um, and I, I do like the whole Ghostmaker and Harley um, getting to know each other, feeling each other out. Um, find, Harley was asking him why does why does he find her so interesting, and he explains. Um, it's it's good stuff. It's just. It's, it's not, you know, the whole action things that you're expecting from Batman, but it is things that move the story along. So I always like that. So in the end, this is a 7 out of 10. This book also does have that end story of the Ghost Maker's kind of past. He's, he's um, attacking this island, going against Midas or Queen Midas or something like that. I don't know. Um, and this time it's, it's uh, some other villain saying his backstory and how Ghostmaker stopped him, and how he now that's why he's scared of, of Ghostmaker. And the story's all right. It's basically at a young age, this company killed his parents, took him in, experiment on him. He became powerful, he, too powerful for them, and he uh, destroyed that company. And then he went and turned around and worked for worse companies as a mercenary. And so. Peacemaker was, or no, I'm sorry, Peacemaker, Ghostmaker was able to make up a, a fake um, building or whatever as, as a trap saying that they are experimenting on children, which got his attention. He wanted to go and, and take care of these kids so that, that the same thing that happened to him wouldn't happen to them, which seems honorable. This guy seems like he's a good guy, but yet he's working for... for uh, other bad companies and that's what Ghostmaker says I liked you but then you you came in and, and you disappointed me and he stopped him I don't understand why he would stop to say his backstory other than the fact that that's exactly what uh what it, this is supposed to be he says oh Ghostmaker's just messing around with you this is my cue to leave and then they're like well where are you going and he goes Oh, well, let me tell you my whole backstory. It makes no sense. If he's this, this scared of, of Ghostmaker, why is he taking the time to, to tell five, six strangers his backstory? It's it's just dumb. I don't like it. It is Tinian that writes this story. So, I mean, it is good, but it's it's too short. I, I, I could do without, but it is what it is. That right there, I'd, I'd give it a six out of ten. Um but still, as a whole, Batman 109, great issue. Happy to have read it, and I uh, hope this helps. So thank you for watching and listening.